Hi folks, how's it going? Welcome to another video. This is of course the Q&A answers for the last Q&A of 2014. So um, first of all guys, I've got to say a huge thank you to you guys for asking questions. I've got 10 comments. I had a little scroll through them without reading them of course. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of questions. So I want to say a huge thank you to you guys for that. Thank you very much for your contributions to this Q&A. It's absolutely fantastic. So um, if you've not seen any of my Q&As before, basically what I do in the description below I basically put times, you know, so you know, so you can see when your questions were answered. So you can just jump straight to your questions if you don't want to listen to the whole Q&A, just to find your questions, you know. So I'll put that in the description below, so you can just jump straight to your questions if you want. So as always, guys, I've not read any of your questions yet. Obviously, I like to read them when I do the Q&A, so um, I get surprised, you know. I think it's a lot more enjoyable doing the Q&A that way. So, um, yeah, I've got it in order by news first. So I went news first and I right, went right down to the bottom to find the oldest comments. So, um, if you asked your questions, like, early on, it should be early in the video. If this YouTube thing is right, which I think it is. Looks okay. So, uh, yeah, the first questions are from Stars Gaming, of course, a big friend of mine on YouTube and Skype, uh, who recently hit 1,500 subscribers, which is just an absolutely fantastic achievement. So, congratulations for that, mate. You know, even to get 1,000 subscribers on YouTube nowadays, you know, it's it's pretty damn tough, you know, because there's a lot of, you know, big YouTubers now, you know, they end up stealing all the views and, you know, getting all the subscribers. So, um, yeah, congratulations for that, mate. Highly deserved and deserve a lot more, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, I think let's um, get on with your, your questions then, shall we? Uh, he says, yay, more Q&A stuffs. <laughs> yeah, you got a lot of Q&A. Q&As are awesome. Uh, question one: Which is your favourite element of the periodic table? Did I say right? P the periodic table. Oh shit! What? What? What the hell is the periodic table again? I've I've totally forgot. By the way, I've I've heard of it. Periodic table. The hell? Uh, I should go have Google option so I can actually search for some of these things. You know. Oh, it's a bloody fleet of wire and like chemistry, isn't it? I know what it is. Um, I'm not sure. Probably oxygen, because oxygen's quite important, isn't it? Um, I'm just probably going to pick up like, the best names, like lithium, platinum, titanium. Uh, I love those names, so um, I suppose I can classify them as my favourite you know, elements, you know. I am titanium. I think that's enough of that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, probably um, I'll say oxygen. But um, as far as name goes, probably titanium. Titanium sounds quite cool. So um, yeah, thanks for the question. That was um, that's uh, quite a, an interesting question. I've never been asked that before. So uh, that's quite interesting. Uh, question two: Woo, one, two, or flee? Woo? What the hell's woo? W U? What the hell's woo? I'm trying to think. What uh, what woo is? Hold well on, guys. More uh, Google in time. Woo. I've absolutely no idea what woo is. Um, it's not the Western Union, is it? <laughs> Financial set. Woo Chinese. I don't know. Um, one, two, or three. I've absolutely no idea. Um, to be honest, I'm guessing that's just a random question. But um, nah, I can't comment on that. I have no idea. Uh, you can put in the comments below what you mean if you want, but I have absolutely no idea what the question is. But uh, yeah, thanks for the question, mate, again. Uh, question three, can you name everything in your fridge from memory? Well, that's an interesting question. I've never been asked that before. Everything in my fridge from memory, there's a, a bottle of cola, bar of cola, there's a bottle of Vimto, which is my dad's, there's a cheese, I'm not sure what brand it is or whatever, but there's cheese, there's butter, there's a, a fourth pint of milk, and some milk with a blue top. Uh, there's that, there is some chicken and mushroom pie thing, which is mine, I'm not had it yet. There's a hot dog. Um, there is a can of Monster Luxury, which I need to drink after this, after this Q&A probably. A uh, can of Green Monster. There is Milkshake Maker, which is Crush It's... I think it's strawberry, I think. Or was it raspberry? No, it's strawberry. I'm sure it's strawberry. I uh, got that at the weekend. Uh, uh, you know, last week. Uh, at the beginning of the week. I don't know what they were straight. At the beginning of the week, yeah. Um, did I say bar? Probably didn't say bar. 
There's butter. Um, mustard. I think it was mustard in there. Which is my dad's. I don't really like mustard uh, too much. Um, I don't think anything else. You know, it's it's uh, the end of the week now. You know, if I'd done the queuing at the beginning of the week, you know, we'd been full of stuff. But uh, most of the stuff's gone now. Um, but yeah, it's um, all people think at the moment. So that's an interesting question. I like that one. If now question four is favorite non fizzy juice. Uh, that's quite an interesting question. Favorite non fizzy juice. Uh, probably apple juice, you know, fresh uh, fresh apple juice. Uh, I do quite like that. Uh, orange juice is okay as well, but I you know, prefer apple. Uh, yeah, I'd probably say, um, I'd probably say apple juice. Cause I do quite like fresh apple juice. It's really really nice. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go fresh apple juice in that one. Question five: If you had a cat, what would you name it? Well, that's an interesting question as well. Uh, if I had a cat, hmm. I've got either a black cat or a white cat, I think. Uh, if I had a black cat, I would call it Shadow. I don't know whether that's got anything to do with Devil May Cry, because the woman cat things in Devil May Cry 1 were called Shadows. Actually, were pretty demonic. And as, or if I had a white cat, I'd probably call it Snowy. But a white cat would be a nightmare to keep playing, wouldn't it? So I'd probably go with a black cat called Shadow. So, um, yeah, black cat called Shadow, I would say. Quite uh, an interesting name. Uh, question six: Did you ever get a coke bottle with your name on it? <laughs> uh, I didn't actually, which is bloody annoying. I don't know if I still do that now. I've never really paid much attention. You know, I was always, you know, at the time when the first came out, I was always looking to see if I can find my name. But I wasn't like tearing the place apart trying to find a bloody coke bottle with my name on it. But um, I know a lot of people, a lot of my friends had coke bottles with their name on it. You know, I think my mum's got a coke bottle with her name on it. You know. I think, I think her boyfriend sent away, for, sent away for it specially. It's a glass bottle with her name on it. So um, she's still got that, I think. But um, yeah, if, a lot of people do have a Coke bottle with her name on it. But I've, I've personally never had one. You know, I've never seen one with Andrew on it. So, um, no. Nah. Like I said, I've never really, you know, tried to find it like by, you know, throwing bottles. Just taking out all the bottles to try and find my name. But the shopkeeper bonding what the hell I'm doing. But um, nah, I've never found a Coke bottle with my name on it, which is bloody annoying. But um, who knows, guys, I might find it one day. You never know. If they still do it, which I think they still do it. But I'm not 100% sure. But no, the, question, the answer to the question is no, I've never had a Coke bottle with my name on it before. Which is annoying. Uh, question 7. Have you ever got so angry again you snapped your controller? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, I've never broken a controller out of, you know, out of pure rage. You know, I've, I've hit it on my knee, well, not like, not like, full force, you know, just well, like that. You know, on the top of my knee there, but um, I've never really, like, clattered it. You know, like, snapped it. <laughs> snapped it in, in the middle, you know, snapped it in half. Uh, even though FIFA does bring out an anger side to me, because FIFA's bloody bullshit. It's like one of the most aggravating games I've ever played in my entire life is the FIFA series, especially the newer ones. You know, I feel like as time goes on, they're getting more and more bullshit. So, um, but no, I've never, I've never uh, broken a or snapped a controller before. That would, um, that would be a very expensive thing to do. So, nah. Question eight: Which footballer do you think uh, is overrated, or which footballers do you think are overrated? Um, Balotelli, maybe. You know, I know he's not overrated. No, everyone thinks he's crap. But, you know, when Liverpool sold Luis Suarez, you know, if Balotelli was going to be a, a great, you know, great replacement, I can't believe the top. Yeah, but Balotelli was going to be a great replacement. Uh, but, you know, obviously he's, he's been pretty poor, to be honest. Um, so he's, I would say he's overrated. I keep thinking of bloody FIFA ratings here. You know, I always go with bloody FIFA ratings. I would say Wayne Rooney's really overrated, you know, I mean, all I ever hear from commentators and stuff is basically them basically talking up Wayne Rooney, this Wayne Rooney guy, oh, he's absolutely fantastic, what a talent, what a skill this player has, you know, but in my opinion, Rooney's, he's quite overrated, he's, he's hitty messy, you know, he can be really good, but he can be really shit quite a lot of times as well, you know, so I'm going to probably say Wayne Rooney, he's way overrated, now, since the commentators, you know, they very rarely ever have a, you know, a bad thing to say about Rooney, as far as, you know, how well he's playing and stuff. 
So uh, I'm going to say Wayne Rooney is probably the worst one. This is actually swapping, I think, is it? Yeah, I'll do. Uh, yeah, I'll say Wayne Rooney. And Balotelli, tell you, but I'd say the, the biggest one's probably Wayne Rooney. Uh, that's all I can really think of at the moment. Uh, question 9. What is your opinion on creeping bent grass? Creeping bent grass? What? What is this abomination? And we have to type this in, you know. Creeping bent grass. I will Google this. And I will try to find out what it is. Alright, I see. Creeping bent grass is a cool season speciality grass primarily used for golf course putting greens, lawn bowling greens and lawn tennis facilities. That that is what um that's what creeping bent grass is. I had absolutely no idea that's what it was called. I always called it body I don't know, turf or something, I don't know what I called it. Uh, but it's actually really, really good, you know. I used to, you know, play golf when I was younger, but I wasn't very good at it. I kept scuffing my shots and the ball would go all over the bloody place. But, you know, as for, like, the putting greens and stuff, you know, it's really smooth. You know, I mean, they'd have to be, you know. You can have, like, bloody long grass on a putting green, you know. Or on a, you know, a bowling green either. It needs to be smooth, you know. So, um, yeah, I would, I would say it's um, it's quite a good thing, is a uh, creeping bent grass, you know. It's um, it'd be difficult to picture like bowling and you know golf courses without it. You know, it'd just be like ordinary grass, and this wouldn't work too well. Uh, so yeah, that's my opinion on creeping bent grass, guys. It's uh, it's quite good, you know, for uh, sports. Quite good. That's uh, it's a really interesting question. That um, I think that's because I um, when I introduced, I was doing a Q and A. I was given a whole lot of things you can ask me about, you know, football, you know, blah 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 blah. And I think I mentioned grass is just a random thing, and that's probably why you've done that. But anyway, um, question 10. Have you ever gate-crashed a party? I haven't actually, no. You know, I tend to you know, stay away from parties. I've been to very few parties. You know, I would, I would never think about gate-crashing a party, you know. Um, no, there's probably a lot of people who have gate-crashed a party. I think I know someone that gate-crashed a party. And he's probably chuffed for himself about it as well. I was really happy with himself, but <laughs> but um, no, I would never gate crash a party. I wouldn't have the I wouldn't have the guts to gate crash a party. Usually, when there's a party, I just you know, I just stay the hell away from there because uh, I think parties are overrated, in my opinion. Uh, question eleven: Do you have any guilty pleasure songs? Uh, probably quite a few actually. Um, yeah, I'd probably say the biggest one could probably be. Barbie Girl by Aqua. Go on, everybody laugh, come on. <laughs> no, I mean, I love that, you know, I've loved it since I was young. I like the band Aqua, I think Aqua's really good, you know, Aqua with uh, Dr. Jones, Cartoon Heroes, you know, they've, they've got some, you know, really cheesy kind of songs. But, um, you know, Guilty Pleasure songs, I just, you know, I just absolutely love them. A few Spice Girl songs that I like, you know, laugh at me, I know. Uh, Lady Gaga songs, that song by S Club 7, was it, Bring It All Back. I just love those songs, guys, you know. So um, all of them, to be honest, are uh, guilty pleasure songs. Probably the biggest one's probably um, probably Barbie Girl, uh, Barbie Girl by Aqua. That's uh, quite a, a guilty pleasure song, you know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't admit that to many people, I tell you. Anyway, um, question 12. What games have you raised quite a dumb? Oh, God, I've... I wouldn't say rage quit too many games. You know, I've rage quit Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, and like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and that. You know, when I've been playing them online, you know, sometimes they're, you know, bullshit. And, uh, you know, quit that. But the biggest one, of course, is FIFA. You know, when I'm playing Ultimate Team and I'm, like, three goals down in like, the first 20 minutes and the guy's, like, passing around watching every replay, I get so pissed off and sometimes just either, you know, just quit the match or, you know, just eject the disc, you know. Because uh, I just get so bloody pissed off with FIFA. And um, I do sometimes rage quit when I'm doing Let's Plays on my Gamers on 5000 channel as well. Like, I think it was um, Medal of Honor Underground, I think. I uh, rage quit on that. I rage quit to get away Black Monday. Um, I'm going to rage quit Star Wars as well. Episode 1, The Phantom Mess. I'm not sure if I showed you that on camera, but I rage quit that after a certain point. 
So yeah, I've played quite a, a few games, but the most common one is without a shadow of a doubt, FIFA, you know. I mean, single player games for me are usually, you know, sometimes they've got their frustrating points, but uh, it's usually online games that really, you know, piss me off, you know. So um, yeah, uh, FIFA's, you know, the most common one. And his last question is, who is the harbinger of war? Harbinger of war? Is this from... Lord of the Rings or from? I have no idea. Hold on. So I'm so glad I've got access to bloody Google, you know. Har bringer of war. Uh, the first thing that comes up is the... It must be a guy from DOA2A or something. DOTA2. That's a game on Steam, isn't it? That free online game. Uh, well, you know, you can play it online, it's like a massive multiplayer online game, whatever you call it. A massive multiplayer online RPG, I think it is. Um, could be wrong, but um, I'm guessing, is that, is that the hard ringer of war? I don't know, maybe you're referring to something else, but um, yeah, I guess I'm going to say that guy, whoever he is, from that bombing DOA. Uh, why do you keep saying DOA? It's not Bloody Dead or Alive. Uh, D-O-T-A-2. But, um... Yeah, thanks for the questions, mate. There's a lot of interesting questions there, you know. I really enjoyed reading them and uh, answering them. Good stuff. No, I had to do a little cut there, guys. I need a drink. My bloody throat went dry. <coughs> Still bloody feels dry. Uh, Obviously, bloody talking, guys, you know. Anyway, guys, uh, next set of questions. There's actually 20 questions here from LFC Gamer, who uh, comments on a lot of my videos, so has been following this channel for quite a while. So, a uh, huge thank you to that, mate. I do appreciate all your comments. Uh, really, really awesome guy. So, um, his... Let's see, what does it say? Um, more Q&A goodness and whatnot. Here are some questions that may get you into festive spirit. Oh, God. But the uh, Christmas questions in here, I think, guys. Get us in the mood for Christmas. Bloody Christmas, man. Uh, question one. What is your most hated Christmas song? Um, hmm. That's, that'll get me thinking. That's an interesting question. Um, I wouldn't say I hate too many Christmas songs. I just kind of get, you know, fed up of hearing them. Because you hear the same bloody songs over and over again, it just gets a bit bloody annoying, to be honest. Um, but the most hated one, I'm trying to think of something that I don't really like too much. Uh, hmm. There's one I'm not really a big fan of. Um, but I don't, I can't remember what it's called or who sings it, but it's like, It'll be lonely this Christmas without you to hold. It'll be lonely this Christmas, lonely and cold. I'm not sure who sings it, but I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say I hate it either, though. Um, probably, that'd be probably my, like my most disliked one. I also don't like the. Was it? Was it Mariah Carey or something? It's uh, all I want for Christmas is you. I'm not a really big fan of that song either, to be honest. Um, but what one out of those two? Hmm. Probably that it'll be one with this Christmas by whoever sings it. Um, hold on, I don't know who sings it. It will be one with this Christmas. It's, El it's bloody Elvis Presley. How did I not know that? Um, I'd probably say that one. I'm not really a big fan of that song at all. It's um, it's just not um, it's not one that I like really. Probably say that one. That's the only one I can really think of at the top of my off the top of my head at the moment. Uh, question two. Other than the time your neck cracked during Tekken 3, has it happened again when playing another game? Uh, I don't think so. But, um, yeah, that shows you how long you've been bumming, you know, watching my videos as well, because that was quite a while ago, that Tekken 3 video on my Gamers on 5000 channel. Uh, I don't think I've ever, I've never noticed it crack again anyway. That was, that was quite bad, that day. That was something just out of the blue. It was really random, you know I mean? It didn't really crack at all, no, it was... Just random. Sometimes my knuckles crack when I'm playing uh, when I'm playing games. But uh, no, my neck doesn't really crack. Or you know, not that I've noticed. It's usually just my my knuckles, you know. So um, yeah, I'm gonna have to say no to that one. But uh, yeah, that was uh, that was well rem uh, well remembered, mate. Uh, question three. Speaking of neck problems, have you ever experienced whiplash? Uh, no, I haven't. But I've heard it's quite bloody painful. And uh, yeah, I've never like. You know, it's quite common when people have had like you know car accidents, car crashes, things like that. 
and I, you know, they can't, you know, can't move their neck and stuff. But um, no, I've, no, I've never had that before. I've not really had that many injuries, to be honest. Uh, I'm kind of lucky. But no, I've never experienced wet wash. Uh, thank God. But uh, yeah, I've heard it's uh, quite painful. Uh, let's see. Question four: Have you ever gotten left and right mixed up? <laughs> Uh, I used to get mixed up quite a bit actually. When I was younger, I don't, I don't really get it mixed up now. It's kind of like cemented in my in my brain, you know, left and right. <laughs> uh, there's a little uh, tip that I got at the, the primary school, you know. I've always remembered that. But you like you hold your things up like this. I'm not calling anybody a loser, by the way. That's that's not what I'm doing. Uh, from where I, where I'm like, you know, standing or sitting here, you know, I do that. And that's an L, that's an L to me. And that's left, you know, that's that's what I got taught at primary school. You know, so I always remembered that, you know. Obviously I don't need that anymore, I'm not like, what way, what way, left, is it? Well, that's left, isn't it? I'm not like that anymore, but, um, yeah, ever since they taught me that at primary school, I've never forgotten, you know. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite cool. It's the same really with uh, directions, it was like, um, you know, north, east, south, west. And then we got taught, um, never eat shredded wheat for no north, east, south, west, and naughty elephants squirt water. You know, you got taught some pretty damn cool things at primary school, you know, now that I think about it, you know. Obviously, I don't need that now either. But, um, yeah, um, I've never really got uh, left and right mixed up, in, you know, since I was young, you know. But, yeah, it's quite an interesting question. I like that one. Oh, for Christ's sake, this is going to go absolutely pear-shaped. Uh, question five, can you say... <laughs> I can't even really say it once, to be honest. Can you say seashells, seashells, on the she seashore ten times? I can't even say it bloody once, mate. <sighs> Alright, I'll, um, I don't know why, I can never get this right. I'm I'm probably one of the worst people in the world at body tongue twisters. I just cannot get them right. <sighs> Ready for it? This is gonna go muddy mad. Oh, this is gonna go up so mad. This is gonna go so wrong. Okay, ten times, guys. Ten times. Like I say, once is bad enough. She sells, she sells by the seashore. She sells, she sells by the seashore. Sure, sure. She sells, she sells by the seashore. She sells, she sells by the seashore. She sells, she sells by the seashore. She sells. She sells, she shells by the seashore. She shells, she shells by the seashore. She sells, she shells by the seashore. She sells, she shells by the seashore. She shells, she sells, she shells by the seashore. Sure. See, I'm, I'm like one of the worst people in the world about the tongue twisters. You know, I just kind of get them right. But um, yeah, thank you for the tongue twister. I'm just bloody rubbish at them, you know. Uh, like I said, I don't even think I got one of them correct, you know, it's pretty mad to be honest, I tried my best though. <laughs> uh, question six, have you ever watched a creepy pasta? Uh, I haven't actually, no, that's like what, song to do with like Slender Man and it's all like scary shit, isn't it? Uh, I've, no, I've never watched one of them before, you know, I mean, I've heard, I've heard about quite a lot about creepy pasta, but um, yeah, I've never actually watched one myself, but um, Oh, maybe at some point, you know, I think it'd be quite interesting, you know, probably Slenderman's a, a creepy guy. But, uh, yeah, I've never watched a, a creepy pasta before. Uh, question seven, do you like a reggae reggae sauce? Um, it's alright. I don't think I like it as, like, most people seem to like it. It's, it's quite strong, reggae reggae sauce. Reggae reggae sauce, man. Um, yeah, just um, a quick, quick answer to that, I think, um, is, um, yeah, it's... It's alright, but it's not, like I say, it's not fantastic, but, um, yeah, I'd say it was okay. Question 8, do you think, uh, who do you think is Arsenal's biggest traitor? Uh-oh, Robin Van Persie, Nasri, Adebayor, or Fabregas? Hmm. I don't know, um, biggest traitor, uh, They're all bloody traitors, aren't they? Uh, Fabregas is I still, I, I'd probably say he's like the least of a, a traitor, I would say, out of them. Now he's at Chelsea now. But probably Robin Van Persie. <laughs> Van Persie. Uh, Robin Van Persie. 
it's probably the biggest trailer, you know, because he was bitching and moaning about leaving to get trophies and shit. And, you know, he was just, oh, he was so full of himself, you know, he was, you know, I just bloody hate Robin Van Persie, to be honest. I'd probably say he was the biggest traitor, but they've all had their moments. Um, Nasri's not, I don't think Nasri's too bad, I suppose. Adebayor, I hate him because of what he did when he, like, scored for, scored for uh, Man City. Uh, against Arsenal, he was, he was like doing that in front of the Arsenal fans, and Arsenal fans went mad and started throwing things at him, which is bloody understandable, could have caused a bloody riot. I uh, hate him for that, always going to hate him for that. Uh, but I suppose the biggest one out of those is probably Robin Van Persie, just because he wanted to leave to get trophies, and then he was doing all that duck face thing, it was bloody annoying, you know, pouting. It was just bloody arrogant, to be honest. And uh, yeah, I dislike him as well, so. Uh, yeah, I would say he's probably the biggest traitor out of them. Uh, question nine: Do you, what was that? Do you have a player printed on the back of your football shirts? Uh, I don't actually know. Um, I don't have many football shirts. I have a, a hearts, a hearts top, an AC Milan uh, shirt. Uh, but I've no, I've never uh, had a name on the back. Uh, my dad's used to have a name on the back. He used to have a, a Hearts player on the back, Stefan Adam. Uh, he played for Hearts. Uh, that was bloody years ago, like bloody 10, 11 years ago. Uh, but no, I've, I've never had a, a football player at the back of my shorts before. Like, um, never really. <laughs> but uh, no, I haven't, personally, I've never had one on the back of my shorts. I think they're quite, they're quite expensive. I think I don't need to get a name on the back of your shirt, a name and a number. Uh, nah, so I've never had a name on the back of my shirt before. Uh, question 10. How, what is your favourite pie? Steak and kidney, meat and potato, or chicken and mushroom? Uh, chicken and mushroom, I think. I absolutely love chicken and mushroom. Uh, I get them at, you know, Morrison's and stuff. Uh, I Overall, you know, I'll say out of those, it's probably the best. I quite like meat and potato. Steak and kidneys, it's... it's I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of steak and kidney. But uh, meat and potato is good, and uh, chicken and mushroom. But out of them, I would say my favourite is uh, chicken and mushroom. Just absolutely love it, you know. Uh, question 11. Do you think Thierry Henry will return back to the Gunners? Um, probably not. You know, I mean, I, I don't know if... I kind of want him to go back, but I kind of don't. You know, he's, he's had his... He's, you know, he's had his time, you know. He's, he's not the player he used to be. Obviously, he's getting older, he's getting sore. He can still finish, you know. He's still a, a good, you know, finisher of the ball. Scores some good goals. But um, yeah, I think the pace of the you know the Premier League nowadays, I think it'd be too much for him. So um, no, I don't think he'll ever come back to uh, to the Gunners. But uh, you never know, guys. You never know. Obviously, the Gunners will always have a, a place in his heart, and you know he's a he's a legend. You know he's a club legend. But um, no, I think the pace of the Premier League is too much for him now. So uh, I don't think he'll come back. Uh, question twelve: Did you ever, or did you watch Chuckle Vision during your childhood? I did, absolutely bloody love Chuckle Vision. You know, the uh, the bloody Chuckle Brothers. You know, to me, to you, to me, to you. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, <laughs> I absolutely loved the Chuckle Brothers. It was just, it was like one of the funniest things on TV at the time. Just absolutely loved it. You know, it just I just couldn't help laugh at them. It was just bloody hilarious. So um, yeah, I used to always watch Chuckle Vision. Chuckle Vision is bloody awesome. Uh, question 13. Who is your most favourite actress? Hmm. Most favourite actress? Oh, that's an interesting one. Um, I don't really have a favourite actress, I don't think. I don't really have a favourite actor, to be honest. I just, you know, just watch them. <laughs> I just watch the, the films, you know. I've just got, like, a, an actor that I really like. Uh, you know, it adds to the enjoyment, like, you know, Jim Carrey and whatnot. But as for an actress, I'm not really sure. You know, I like I like a few people that are in like Coronation Street, but you know, they're not. I wouldn't say they're like they're the best of actors or actresses. You know, but uh, I'm trying to think of big body actresses. Where why can't I think of body actresses? I'm actually, have to have a, a quick look online because I really bloody couldn't think of anybody. My bloody mind went blank. But uh, people from Harry Potter probably think some of the best. I'd say you know like Emma Watson who plays Hermione. You've got uh, Maggie Smith that plays Professor McGonagall. And um, probably from like James Bond movies and that, Judy Dench, you know, Judy Dench is just an absolutely fantastic actress, you know, she's a, a legend really when it comes to, you know, actresses. Actresses. Um, so I'd probably say her, 
you know, cause she always does, you know, brilliant performances in that, and like the James Bond movies, you know, she's always, you know, she's always there, you know, to, you know, to do a good performance. So uh, I'd probably say Judy Dench, just for everything she's done, she's just been absolutely amazing, you know. So, um, but yeah, like I say, those three are probably my, like my three, my three favorite, you know, from films, uh, from what I can think of, you know, at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'd probably say uh, Judy Dench because, like I say, she's just a bloody legend when it comes to acting. Uh, question 14. Who do you think will win La Liga this season? Uh, hmm. Interesting question. I would probably say Real Madrid. Uh, if I'm being honest, it's gonna, I think it'll be between Real Madrid and Barcelona. It's not going to be Atletico Madrid, I don't think. Uh, I'm probably going to say Real Madrid. You know, I know, you know Barcelona's got bloody Messi and they've got Suarez. Uh, I think they'll probably finish second, and I'm going to go for Real Madrid, I think, to win the La Liga, I think. Uh, question 15. Uh, do you wish that Arsenal were still playing at Highbury? Uh, nah, not really. I mean, I liked Highbury. Highbury was absolutely fantastic, you know. Um, when I first heard it was moving, you know, it was going to be called the Body Emirates, and I was a bit disappointed at the time, but, you know, now I really like the Emirates. The Emirates is absolutely a fantastic stadium. Even though I do miss Highbury in a way, Emirates is, you know, it's, it is better. I'm going to lie, you know, it's got a lot more, you know, capacity. And uh, I would say it looks better, you know, but, you know, Highbury is a classic, classic stadium. And uh, I'll always like Highbury, you know, for, you know, for what it was. But um, do I miss it now? Probably not, you know, because I like the Emirates. Uh, question 16. What are you going to do if gaming is just online only? Um... I'm gonna friggin' hurt somebody. Now I, I don't know what I'm. I'll probably just stick to like PS One, PS Two, PS Three, early PS Four games, I suppose, because they don't have online only at the moment. Uh, but yeah, that's in my opinion that is gonna be for me death of gaming. You know, because once servers shut down for games, you're not gonna be able to play those games. You're gonna have worthless games. You know, on your console, or you're gonna have a worthless disc. You're gonna just can just snap it because there's going to be no bloody use. You know, I mean, like I say, I'm really passionate about this, but, you know, it's going to be bad, you know. I can just go back and collect some of those rare, you know, rare PS1, PS2 games, you know, which, you know, ones that are like 20, 30 pound, you know, because they don't have online only, believe it or not. You know, that's, um, that was gaming at its best, you know, not having to rely on patches or online, you know, downloads, anything like that, or being online, you know. So um, I'll probably do that if it goes for, like online only. I'll, I'll probably stick to uh, Steam. I know, I know Steam, you've, you know, it's kind of online as well, but I'd probably stick to that because I've got a few pretty decent indie games. I'll stick to that and, like, say, PS1, PS2, PS3 and stuff. Games that don't require online, basically. But, uh, yeah, for me, that would probably be the, the death of gaming. Uh, seven, question 17. Uh, do you want Venga out? Or would you like him to stay? Oh, I definitely want him to stay. I mean, you know, Arsenal fans are so bloody... I ain't gonna lie, they keep bloody changing their mind, you know. Start, they lose a game, expect, get Wenger out, and, you know, if they win again, it's Wenger must stay. And, you know, just stop being bloody hypocrites, man. You either want him to stay or you want him to go. You know, I mean, I admit, he's maybe not, you know, the best man for the job. I know his tactics and that and stuff kind, kind of can be a bit strange at times. But, you know, Wenger... You know, I can't really think of, can't really picture Arsenal without Arsene Wenger being, you know, manager, he's just a bloody club legend, you know. So, um, you know, I want Ar I want Wenger to stay, and um, just wish the Arsenal fans would just stop body changing their mind every five seconds, you know. Yeah, you want him out, or you want him to stay. You don't just go with, you know, if you win a game, you want him to stay, and if you don't lose a game, you want him out. You just, you don't do that, man, you just don't do that. You either want him to stay, or you want him to go. And for me, I want him to stay. Definitely. Uh, question 18. Have you ever been a babysitter? <laughs> uh, no. No, I've never been a babysitter before. And, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what else I can say, really. Um, I've, like, I've got, like, a, you know, a younger sister and that, but I never needed to, like, babysit her, you know, when, when I was, you know, when she was younger. Uh, I never did that. Um, so, yeah, that's basically a quick answer to that question. Uh, no, I've never been a babysitter. Uh, question 16. What food and drink do you mostly enjoy on Christmas? Uh, what food do I... Well, 
Does their chocolates count as? <laughs> I love getting body box of chocolates and things. Like Ferrari Rushers and body chocolate biscuits and things. But that's like Christmas foods. I'm not really a huge fan of Christmas foods, you know, like turkey and stuff. I'm not a really big fan of that. I mean, I like, I mean, I like it to a certain degree. But, you know, I'm not, like, a huge fan of it, you know. And as for, um, you know, drink, it's got to be some bottles of wine, guys, you know. I absolutely love wine. And, uh, yeah, I do enjoy some uh, glasses of wine my Christmas dinner, you know. Absolutely fantastic stuff. So, um, yeah, if food counts as, ch if, as uh, if chocolate counts as food, I'll say uh, chocolates and wine. Because, uh, yeah, I just absolutely love chocolates and wine. Uh, not together, though. I don't really have chocolates and wine both together. It's either uh, one or the other. <laughs> anyway, next question is, which is actually the, the last question. Have you heard of Michael Rosen rap? He may be an author for children, but his rapping is far more impressive than Will Wayne's. Uh, Michael Rosen. I've never heard of Michael Rosen. And we have a quick uh, Google search, just, in, just to see if it comes up, you know. Michael Rosen, there we go. <laughs> Alright, got quite an old... Uh, wait a minute. I think I recognise his face. Yeah, I think I recognise his face, but I can't really, you know, picture any of the, like, the raps or anything that he's done. But I do know his face. I've seen him before somewhere. Um, just not really sure where, to be honest. But, um, no, I've never heard his, uh, his raps, but it uh, sounds quite interesting. I might have to uh, give it a check out. I mean, I, I don't like Lil Wayne, so uh, he's got to be better than him, right? <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, thanks for the questions. A lot of really, really cool questions there, some really interesting ones. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much, mate, for them. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, next questions are from RPK Vids. It used to be known as RPK Game Vids. A uh, really, really awesome guy. He does like puzzle videos and like reviews and stuff like that. Pick up videos. And I've, you know, I've been subscribed to him for a little while. He's been subscribed to me quite a while as well. And uh, yeah, he's a really, really cool guy. Uh, he's got three questions. Question one. What are your top five favourite TV shows? Uh, I'm going to have to be bloody thingy here. Um... Buddy, this will make me sound like buddy, like an old person. Uh, Emmerdale, Carnation Street, EastEnders, um, Benidorm, I like Benidorm, Benidorm is absolutely fantastic. Uh, there's a new series that coming up soon as well. Uh, I'll say that. Uh, what else is, I'm sure there's another one. But I just can't really think of it at the moment. Our TV show. Uh, I quite like uh, The Chase. The Chase is quite good. You know, Bradley Walsh and The Chasers. That's actually really, really good. It's probably my favourite, you know, quiz show. I like it better than like Deal or No Deal or stuff, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I'd probably say those five are my, my favourite TV shows. Really awesome. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? I don't know why. I just completely bloody forgot. I've got, <laughs> I've got two shows that I really should have bloody put in. Uh, here we go. I'm going to try it again. Emmerdale, Carnation Street, EastEnders, The Simpsons, and Family Guy. That makes more sense, doesn't it? Um, as soon as I was about to go into the next question, I was like, wait a minute, Simpsons, Family Guy, how have I not included them? Uh, yeah, that is definitely my official top five now. That was a bit of a mind blunt, that was. Question two, what is your opinion on drugs? Oh god, bloody nasty things. Absolutely terrible. You know, I mean, I did hear, like, an argument that a lot of people want to make, like, you know, wheat, like, you know, legal. You know, because they feel like it's got, like, some kind of, like, health benefit. You know, if you're, like, down, it can really, really help you and stuff. Uh, but for me, I'm, I'm totally against it. I do think, you know, it's still it's still a drug, you know, it still should be illegal, you know. Even though I know a lot of people want to make it illegal, I, I still think it's, um, it's, it's right, in my opinion, that it's, you know, it's, that it is illegal. Um, but I know it's not as bad as, like, you know, big ones like speed, cocaine, cannabis, things like that, you know. Uh, but yeah, that's my problem with opinion on drugs. I absolutely hate them. Just the thought of them, you know, is horrible. Uh, so that's my opinion on drugs. I absolutely hate them. And, uh, yeah, I really wish they would, um, the world would basically, the drugs in the world would just go away, you know. But that's probably not going to happen, is it? So, um, 
Yeah, but uh, yeah, I absolutely hate drugs. Drugs are a terrible thing. Uh, question three: What do you think of twisty puzzles? <laughs> I know you like your twisty puzzles, but um, I've never really done much, you know, as far as like twisty puzzles go. Yeah, I mean, I've never had like a, a Rubik's cube or things like that. I mean, you showed quite a while ago like a, a weird like ball puzzle thing. It was like a thing like that with like balls. You had to like twist the balls and then you had to get like all the balls a certain colour. And I used to have one of them when I was younger. Um, Auntie had one as well when she, when uh, when I was younger as well. But uh, I could never do much with it. I was just twisting it just for the fun of it. I could never you know try and solve it or anything. I was always bloody rubbish at it, you know. And um, I'm pretty sure I couldn't like solve a, a Rubik's cube or anything like that. So um, yeah, I think twisted puzzles are uh, you know they're quite a good thing. You know, I mean everyone has like different hobbies. I mean I know a lot of people do like you know like puzzles and things. Uh, but I, I could never get into them to be honest. I don't think I'd have the patience. You know, I'm quite uh, I'm quite an impatient person. So um, I don't think I'd be very good at them if I've been completely honest. But um, yeah, apart from that, they're actually quite cool looking things. You know, and um, yeah, who knows, guys? I might maybe you know, buy a, a Rubik's Cube or something one day, you know, you never know. But yeah, thanks for the questions, mate, some interesting questions there. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, next questions are from Aaron Martin, and again, another good friend of mine on YouTube, comments on the videos a lot. Uh, we've played a few games on FIFA as well, on uh, PS4, so uh, yeah, really awesome guy. Uh, question one, would you ever do a Borderlands playthrough? Uh, probably not. And, you know, I usually like to play through games, you know, on my Let's Play channel, on my Gamers on 5000 channel. I usually like to, you know, play through games that I've, you know, I've never completed before. You know, it's like a, a blind Let's Play, you know, I've never completed it before. So it's all like a, a new experience, you know, my first reactions and things. Uh, Borderlands 1, completed it like seven times, you know, <laughs> twice as like three characters and once as uh, the female character, uh, Lilith. So I completed it seven times in total. So, um, yeah, I don't think I'd, I'd do a playthrough of it, because I like to like, say I like to you know, stick to games I've never completed before. Uh, for me, that's that's more enjoyable uh, to do as a, as a Let's Play. Uh, question two, who do you think Arsenal should sign in January? Um, hmm, I'm not sure, actually. No, I don't really know how much bloody money Arsenal's got to be spending on people, you know? Uh, but bloody recall, Alexis, San Alexis Sanchez, what a bloody signing he's been, he's been absolutely fantastic. In my opinion at the moment he's the best player in the Arsenal team. You know, he's just absolutely fantastic, you know. I always think that Arsenal could do with a striker, like another striker. I, mean, I know Giroud, bloody, scored two goals yesterday, which was just absolutely fantastic. Uh, good to have Giroud back and it's good to see that he's on form. Uh, well, Beck's playing quite well. You know, as well, but I just don't really fancy Welbeck as, you know, a number one striker, you know, being a main striker, you know, uh, probably second best to uh, to Giroud. So I'd say Arsenal could do with a striker, you know, like Benzema or something like that. I think Benzema would be quite an interesting, you know, choice, you know, because he's French, he'd go well with Giroud, both being, you know, both being French. I think they'd have uh, quite a bit of chemistry there. So, um, yeah, I'd probably say uh, Karim Benzema would be a really good signing for Arsenal. But um, like I said, I don't know if Arsenal will be buying anybody in January. I hope so, but uh, I'm not really sure. But uh, for me, that would be my choice, probably, Karim Benzema. I think he's a really good player, from what I've seen of him. And his last question is, what game have you enjoyed playing most this year? Oh my, um, I can play quite a few games this year that I really, really liked. Uh, Dragon Edge 2, uh, Mass Effect 2, I think Mass Effect 2 was this year, wasn't it? Yeah, Mass Effect 2 was good. Uh, Resident Evil Revel Ugh. Resident Evil <laughs> Revelations was a uh, good. Metal Gear Solid One was good in the PS One. Metal Gear Solid Three was brilliant. Uh, Dead Island Riptide in the PS Three was absolutely fantastic as well. Um, out of those, I'd probably say the original Metal Gear Solid. That was that just blew my way. You know, I just can't believe how long you know it's taken me to you know to actually buy the game and play through it. You know, because Metal Gear Solid One is it's just a classic game. You know, it's it's almost perfect, you know, it's just absolutely fantastic, guys, you know. The story to it, like dialogue and stuff, it's just absolutely tremendous, you know. Uh, but those are probably the, the three biggest ones, Dead Island, Reptide, Metal Gear Solid and Metal Gear Solid 3, that I completed this year. 
Uh, but all of those are pro say the original Metal Gear Solid. It's just an absolutely fantastic game. I just absolutely loved it. So um, yeah, I'm going to say the original Metal Gear Solid on uh, the PlayStation 1, which is this. <laughs> I went over and bloody got it. Uh, yeah, look, just an absolutely fantastic game, Metal Gear Solid on the PS1. I recommend that to anybody. It's just a tremendous game, you know. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for the questions, mate. Oh, what's this? Um, glad to see that you'll be doing another, mate. Oh, God, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely do another. Uh, I might do one in January or February sometime. Because uh, these Q&As are just, you know, they're a lot of fun to do, you know. And uh, just absolutely love answering your questions. It's just absolutely brilliant. So, uh, yeah, thanks for the questions, mate. <laughs> okay, um, next questions are from... Steve Smith. I guess that's how you say it. Steve Smith. Have you got no fans? Not really. Not really. I've got no fans. No fans at all. I just make these videos just for something to do, but I don't have any fans. No fans at all. Nope. That's terrible. Next question. Uh, have you got no ground? Have you got no ground? What? Um, I'm gonna say no. I don't have any ground. Question three. Finally, do you want some? Nope. No, thank you. Um, kind offer, but no, thank you. Cause I'll give it to you. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, great videos, mate. Really enjoy your one-word reviews. Keep up the good work. Um, yeah, thanks very much, mate. Some interesting little questions there. Uh, yeah, really appreciate it. And uh, next set of questions are from Mr. Joshy J, who's uh, is quite a um, you know long time subscriber and friend of mine on YouTube as well. Uh, really, really awesome guy. So I'll get on with these questions. Question one. Would you think about getting the white PS4? The white PS4 looks absolutely brilliant, you know, I really like the white, you know, the look of the white PS4. Uh, but for me, probably not. I don't really need it. I mean, if I didn't have the black PS4, I probably would have just bought the white one. But now that I've got the black PS4, I don't really, f you know, fancy changing PS4s just because of the colour, you know. Um, nah, it's just, like I say, it's, it looks really nice, you know, I would quite like to get one. But, um, nah, I'm not really too bored, you know, PS4 is a PS4, it plays my games just fine. So, uh, nah, I'm not really bored with getting the white PS4 at the moment. Uh, question 2, do you think Wenger will quit Arsenal at the end of the season? Uh, sorry, my bloody camera just cut off, it must cut off, like, after uh, an hour of recording, because that's been an hour. So it must just cut off automatically after that. So, um, anyway, question 2, do you think Wenger will quit Arsenal at the end of the season? And there was rumours that he was going to quit, uh, quit Arsenal, but I can't see it, to be honest, guys. You know, it's probably just rumours. You know, Arsene Wenger's been there for so long, he's a legend. I, you know, unless Arsenal maybe miss out in Champions League uh, this season, I don't think he'll quit. I really, really don't. I mean, it's, Arsenal would just be weird about Arsene Wenger. So, uh, nah, I don't think he's going to quit. Uh, question three. Would you like to go and watch Arsenal at the Emirates? I uh, probably would actually, yeah, but ugh, so bloody expensive, you know, you've got to pay for bloody travel down to London, uh, probably the matches cost about £100 or something, or £80 or something to get in, you've got to pay for accommodation, you got to pay for food and drink, and, ugh, it'd just be a really bloody expensive time, you know, I could probably afford the white PS4 with the bloody amount of money I might spend getting to that game, you know, maybe, maybe a slight exaggeration. Uh, but yeah, I would like to see them uh, play at the Emirates, but I wouldn't I wouldn't want to pay that kind of money, to be honest. It's too bloody expensive. Uh, question four. Do you like the look of the PS4 in PS1 colours? Oh, it looks absolutely fantastic, you know. Anything for me that's quite similar, you know, to the PS1 is, you know, it, kind of, it always will get my attention, you know. PS1 is an absolute classic console, and uh, the colours of the new PS4 you know, the PS1 colours, this looks absolutely brilliant. I would like to get one, but I've got a weird feeling they're going to be like limited edition, they're going to be really expensive, and uh, yeah, I would like to get one, but 
but they're going to be so bloody expensive. Uh, but yeah, I definitely like the look of it. It looks just so bloody epic. So epic. Uh, question 5. Will you be getting GTA V in the future? Oh god, yeah. I'll get it on the PlayStation 4. You know, I do quite like the idea of first person. I mean, like, you know, so it's kind of like Call of Duty, but in a Grand Theft Auto game. Even though I do like the sound of that, I do feel like Grand Theft Auto games should be played in third person. You know, that's the way they've always been. Apart from maybe, like, the PS1 games that were kind of, like, top-down view. Um, but, you know, like, newer, like, Grand Theft Auto is, like, you know, the suit being a third person game. You know, not a, not a first person shooter. But I would quite like to see how that works. Uh, no, honestly. But uh, yeah, Grand Theft Auto V, definitely we're gonna be getting it on PS4. Just gonna wait for the you know, wait for it to drop in price. And uh, speaking of Grand Theft Auto, I recently completed Grand Theft Auto IV. It was uh, it was quite a good game. I'm not gonna say it was fantastic. It wasn't as good as like the PS1 games, you know, like San Andreas or Vice City. But you know, it was still a, a pretty good game. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely getting GTA V in the future. And uh, question six what year do you think PS5 will be out? Oh god. The year... Hmm. Interesting question. Probably 2020. <laughs> That'd be a... An interesting year for it to come out, wouldn't it? 2020. But that's kind of... That's kind of arrow, isn't it? That's kind of arrow. Um, now, we'll say... 2022. I think 2022 is probably going to be the year PS5 will come out and the Xbox 2. I'm guessing it'll be Xbox 2. Anyway, yeah, um, yeah, PS5 will say it'll come out, it'll come out in 2022. Which that sounds like a cool year. <laughs> um, See, so yeah, that's um, that's what I think, that's my prediction. Question 7. Which Tekken character would you like to be? I'd like to be woman Brian Fury from Tekken 3. He's a bloody beast, you know, he's got bloody fists of fury, you know. You know, he's just a really bloody hardcore dude. He can rip the top off a tank. You know, I mean, who wouldn't want to be a guy like that? You know, be bloody, be bloody epic and deflect bullets with his hands. Just absolutely brilliant. You know, so, um, yeah, nobody would want to stand against me, I tell you, if I was Brian Fury. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd most like to be him because he's bloody badass. And um, like I say, he's so bloody strong. He just lift, lift the top of a tank like it was made of paper. So, um, yeah, Brian Fury. Uh, question 8. Do you watch F1? If so, what do you think of the sound of the new cars? Um, do the new cars have different sounds? I, I don't know. I thought I thought all the F1 cars sounded the same, to be honest, but maybe they have changed. They're always do that... kind of noise. That sounded more like a bloody set of angry bees, didn't it? Um... I don't know, I'm not really sure what the new cars sound like, but usually F1 cars sound pretty epic. So, um, yeah, they're, on, they're bound to be good, aren't they? I never really watch F1, to be honest, but I do like the noise of the cars, to be honest. Uh, question 9. Have you ever seen the film called The Mask? If so, what did you think of it? Oh god, The Mask, what a film. The one with uh, Jim Carrey in it, it's just absolutely brilliant. I think there's a couple of different Mask films. But if you're talking about the original with Jim Carrey, it's a brilliant film, you know, it's probably one of the best Jim Carrey films. I'm saying that, but I like most of them, I like The Grinch, I like Liar Liar, you know, I like Dumb and Dumber. I like I like most of Jim Carrey's uh, films that I've seen, you know, so, um, yeah, Mas The Mask's a brilliant film. You know, it's really, really funny, and, uh, yeah, it's a really good film. Uh, question 10, how did you get into gaming? Um. Probably just playing it when I was uh, when I was younger. You know, when I was young, I was playing the original Sonic the Hedgehog and the Sega Mega Drive. Um, I don't know how that ended up coming, uh, you know, coming along. I guess my mum must have, I you know, gave me the controller and said, "Do you want a shot?" And <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, that's really how I got into gaming. So I have to do a little bloody outtake. Uh, I'm probably going to upload that as a separate video. But those bloody cats fighting outside—it was bloody mental, guys. You know, I heard all I heard was these like screams, and then suddenly the meows and. Bloody cat fight, either that or they were. Oh god, they might have been doing something else actually. I think they were doing something, they might have been doing something else. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, what question? We're on question 10. How did I get into gaming? Just probably just my my mum and dad probably just let me play the Sega Mega Drive when I was younger, playing Sonic the Hedgehog. 
And that's probably just how really I uh, got into gaming. You know, ever since then I've always, you know, I've always loved games. I'm talking, we'll think of what we do. Um, you know, how I got into gaming. Because, um, you know, I just, I'll never give up gaming. I think gaming is absolutely fantastic. But um, I think that's probably how I got into gaming, to be honest, when I was uh, younger. Uh, question 11. What is your favourite games console of all time? Uh, the PS1. Uh, PlayStation 1, this is my favourite games console of all time. You know, PS2 as well was really, really good. You know, I like all the consoles that I've had. But I'd probably say PS1, because you've got the Resident Evil games, you've got the Dino Crisis games, you've got Metal Gear Solid, you have got, um, oops, you've got a Digimon World, you have got, like, Doom, Alien Trilogy, you know, you've just got a whole lot of great games, you know, so many good games out there, so many good games that I've yet to get for the system, I still need to get, you know, some of the more expensive games, but, um, yeah, PS1 for me is just my favourite console of all time, it's just... Just bloody classic, you know, it's legendary. So, um, yeah, favourite control all time, PS1. Uh, question 12. What has been your greatest rage of FIFA? Um, I threw the case and I hit the, I hit the radiator. Uh, that was uh, FIFA FIFA 12. No, not FIFA 12. That was uh, FIFA 14. Uh, you know, I took the case, I went, just threw it. I hit the radiator. And I think it got like a little crack on the case because of that. Um, <laughs> that was probably my, my greatest FIFA rage, you know. Sometimes I like throw the controller on my bed and stuff, but you know, it's on my bed, it's not really gonna do much damage. <laughs> or any damage really. Uh I'll say yeah, I'll say my greatest FIFA rage was just throwing it and hitting the radiator and cracking the the FIFA fourteen case. Just all oh, my team just pissing me off so much, it really really does. But yeah, uh, yeah, Josh, yeah, thanks for the questions. Some really, really good questions there. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Next question uh, is from CN Awesome. I've actually got two questions here. Uh, let's see. I've been watching Stars Gaming's version of Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets. Is it different from PS1 and how? Oh, my God, yes. It's a lot different from the... Um, from the PS2 version, the PS1, PS2 version, it's like bomb and chalk and cheese. Uh, the PS1, it's also it's got you know the graphics aren't as good, but for me that's good. You know, I feel like the game's more enjoyable because I've seen the PS2 version from what Stars Gaming's played, and although the graphics look a lot better, it looks bloody annoying. You know, like the stealthy parts and stuff like that. It looks real, real annoying. I like the part at the beginning of the game, we've got to do like shopping stuff and you've got to like buy spells with like points and you know stuff like that, you know. I just don't think the PS2 version looks that good. And I'll honestly, I mean I might just be saying that because I'm so used to the PS1 version. But uh, yeah, the PS2 version just looks kind of, kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie, it looks real, real annoying. But I would say that's kind of how the, the PS1 and PS2 versions are different. Just like the PS2 version's got like more features and things. You know, it's probably got, like, bigger, you know, bigger, like, areas and bigger maps and things to explore. But, um, like I said, I, I still prefer the PS1 version. The PS1 version is still my favourite version. Um, even though I've not, even I've not played the, the PS2 version, I don't, I don't think I ever will. I just think it looks too annoying. So, uh, yeah, I, I would say that was probably the difference between the PS1 and PS2 version. And the next question is, second question is, what LP are you playing on, are you... Planning, sorry, on doing. Um, I'd like to let's play Driver, the, the first Driver game on the PS1. I'd love to let's play that at some point. I would like to... I'm trying to think of any other games I'd like to let's play. Uh, I really can't think of any really at the moment. I would say probably Double Seven Nightfire on the PS2. That looks like a, a really, really good James Bond game. I've not really played much of that. So yeah, I'd like to maybe let's play that game. And, um, yeah, probably that's probably my two two main ones. Driver 1 on the PS1 and uh, 007 Nightfire on the PS2. So, uh, I think they're pretty um, pretty cool games. So, um, yeah, I would say them. So, uh, yeah, thanks for the questions, mate. Really, really appreciate it. Next question is from Josh Holmes. who's has uh, commented on quite a few of my videos as well. So, I uh, really, really appreciate that, mate. Uh, I don't know if it's already been asked, but what's your favourite game and console of all time, and why? Um, hold on. 
Right, I'm back with my favourite game of all time, which is a bit crap, but it's uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis on the PlayStation 1. Again, that's probably another reason why the PS1 is my favourite games console of all time. It's just got so many epic games in it, you know, Resident Evil games and stuff like that. You know, Metal Solid, Dino Crisis games. Uh, yeah, this is my favourite game of all time. Uh, just because I like the I like the locations uh, a lot more than like Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 1 and stuff. You know, Resident Evil 2 is probably my second favourite game of all time. You know, I just absolutely love both games. But uh, the reason why I like this more is I just think the game's like a lot more enjoyable to play. You know, it's I feel like it's faster paced, and uh, ne the Nemesis fights are just absolutely brilliant. You know, it's just such a bloody difficult boss to beat at times. You know, but it's so satisfying to kill. Really, really good boss fights with Nemesis. Uh, characters are good. You know, just the the different. You know, the variation of locations in the game is absolutely brilliant. And uh, yeah, it's the gameplay itself, guys. It's just a hell of a lot of fun. So yeah, that's why Resident Evil 3 Nemesis is uh, my favourite game of all time. And you can say the PS1 my favourite console uh, of all time, just for the just for the amount of classic games that are on it. You know, and I would say PS2 is probably quite close to be my you know my favourite game uh, games console of all time as well. But uh, like I said, the PS1 just for the Resident Evil games, Metal Gear Solid, Dino Crisis games, and Medieval games. You know, Tekken games. You know, it's just got so many fantastic games. You know. And uh, yeah, that's basically you know Crash Bandicoot, Spyro. How could how could I forget to mention them? Just so many great games. And uh, yeah, PS One will always have a, a place in my heart. It's just my favourite game console of all time. Just absolutely love it. So uh, yeah, thanks for the question, mate. I really really appreciate your uh, question. Next set of questions. These are actually the last questions of the Q and A. They're from uh, Jared Wiley, who's uh, commented in quite a few of my videos as well. So thank you very much for that, mate. Uh, he's got ten questions here. So uh, let's see, just some questions with a bonus one at the end. Uh oh, uh, question one: What has been your favourite game of all time? Any console? Um, it's definitely, it's uh, definitely Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. You know, just for just for how enjoyable the game is. You know, the the fights with Nemesis are just so bloody epic. The gameplay is really, really good. Locations in the game are really, really varied. You know, there's quite a few different locations and stuff, you know. For me, the game's just really bloody enjoyable. Uh, an epic game. I've lost count how many times I've completed it. And, uh, yeah, that's why this is my my favourite game of all time. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis on the PlayStation 1. Uh, question 2. Real Madrid or Barcelona? Um, I probably prefer Real Madrid now. Um, I wouldn't say I'm really a big fan of any of them, to be honest. I don't really like... Uh, Real Madrid or Barcelona, I'd rather have Real Valcano or uh, Valencia or you know somebody like that or Atletico Madrid. So I've just never really been a big fan of uh, Real Madrid or Barcelona. I think I used to like Barcelona actually when I was younger, but um, I just don't really like too many Spanish clubs. In all honesty, but you know what? I think I'd actually say that I probably prefer Barcelona now. Just because they've got like Messi and Suarez, who are actually two of my favourite players, you know, that are playing at the moment. Um, yeah, I think I used to prefer Barcelona, and I kind of turned to Real Madrid, then I went to Barcelona again. But uh, the way I'm feeling now, probably Barcelona, just for you know Suarez. I'm a huge Suarez fan and a huge Messi fan, so um, yeah, I'll go with that. Uh, question three: Ronaldo or Messi? Uh, I'd probably say Messi. I mean, a lot of people argue and say Ronaldo. Overall, uh, but for me, I, I don't know. I just prefer Messi. You know, Messi. If I could have any player in my team, I'd probably choose Messi. You know, I know Ronaldo's brilliant with free kicks. You know, his pace, and you know, a lot of people say overall he's a better player. But for me, I mean, I've not seen you know that many like games. You know, Spanish games. Uh, but for me, what I've seen, I prefer Messi. I really, really do. I think he's just. I just think he's slightly better. You know, not much better, but uh, slightly better. So I'm going to go Messi. Uh, question four, what is your real name? Uh oh, my name is Andrew. That's all you need to know. <laughs> uh, yeah, my name is Andrew. That's all you need to know, mate. <laughs> uh, question five, Xbox One or PS4? Well, I've always been a PlayStation gamer. You know, I've never had an Xbox console. You know, I've always grown up playing, you know, the PlayStation consoles. And I've got a PS4. I don't have an Xbox One. Uh, so for me, it's got to be PS4. Definitely, you know, I think, I think PlayStation's got the best exclusives, you know, I, 
you know, I'm saying that, but I've not played any Xbox One exclusive like Gears of War or Halo or anything like that. But I just can't see them being any better than like Ratchet and Clank or Uncharted. You know, games like that, Resistance. You know, it's absolutely fantastic games. So um, yeah, but in my opinion, PS4 is definitely the better console. In my opinion, you know, that's why I, that's why I bought the PS4. Uh, question six: Grand Theft Auto series or Call of Duty series? Um, Grand Theft Auto, I think. Overall, uh, overall, I've, I've completed more Call of Duty games. I've completed, you know, Call of Duty Two, Call of Duty Four, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare Two, Modern Warfare Three, uh, Black Ops, World at War, uh, Ghosts. So I've completed quite a few Call of Duty games, whereas I've only completed two Grand Theft Auto games, Grand Theft Auto 4 and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. But you know, I've played... Noisy. I've played people slamming things up there. But even though I've not completed them, I've still, you know, played like, you know, Grand Theft Auto Vice City and Grand Theft Auto 3 quite a lot. You know, when I, when I first got the PS2. So, uh, but overall, I would say the more enjoyable games are probably the Grand Theft Auto games, to be honest. Call of Duty is... I like Call of Duty as well, don't get me wrong. But uh, I'm gonna say Grand Theft Auto. Uh, question seven: What has been the biggest spider in your house, if you can remember? Compared, uh, compare its size. P.S. Is this house spider? Is your house spider infested? God, I don't know. I mean, my house. I think my house could be bloody spider infested, even though I've not really seen one for uh, a couple of weeks now. So that's quite good, you know. You may have noticed I've not been uploading any spider videos recently. I'm trying to think of the biggest one. Um, the biggest one I've seen wasn't actually in my house, it was in my, my dad's garage where we used to live. It was bloody huge. You know, it was um, one of the strangest looking spiders I've seen. You know, as far as size goes, it just looked like a bloody beast, you know. I think I've still got that video uploaded. I think it was you know, a giant spider in my dad's garage. Um, I don't, it wasn't a video, it was just a picture because you know, my dad was with me at the time and you know, we were kind of in a rush. <coughs> kind of in a rush. So I didn't actually have time to take a video. So I took a little picture and just started, you know, talking about this picture. But, God, it was a beast. Yeah, that's for the biggest one in my house. I don't really... I'm not really sure. Probably the one that I made in that Halloween video. You know, the one that was right in the corner. You know, right at, at the back of the, the chairs and that next to the cupboard and the radiator. That was huge. I think that was probably the biggest one. That was a bloody monster. You know, it was a bloody monster. But, you know, I've had so many big spiders, but if I was to probably say that one, you know, what one was the biggest in the house, probably that one. The one in uh, the Halloween video, that was huge. You know, bloody gigantic thing. So I'm going to go that one. Uh, question 8. Have you ever had Xbox, Xbox 360 or Xbox One? Nah, I've never had an Xbox console. I've always been a PlayStation gamer. You know, I mean, I'd quite like to play some of those Xbox games like Gears of War. You know, see what all the fuss is about, about Halo. Um, that Alan Wake game looks quite good. I think you can, I know you can get it on a you know PC, but um, couldn't run it on my PC. Uh, but I'd quite like to play games like that. You know, see what they're like. You know, see what how they compare to some of the you know the PlayStation Four you know the PlayStation exclusives. Uh, but no, I've never had an Xbox console. Uh, question nine: What has been your personal favourite video? Top three. Of your channel so far? Oh my god. I don't have a, a top three favourite videos to be honest. I liked that one that I made. Yeah, it was the, the April Fool's joke. I thought that was quite good. You know, I enjoyed making that. I thought it was quite funny. Uh, I quite like doing the one word reviews. I don't really have one in particular. Uh, but I do quite like making them. And um, what else was there? I think what else there was. Um, I can't really think of anything to be honest. I've not really got a top three or you know some videos that I like more than others. Um, but like I said, I like that April Fool's joke. I thought that was quite fun to make. Um, I just like doing pickup videos as well. I like I love making them. But um, no, I don't really have a top three uh, in my opinion. But no, I don't really have a top three. But. Um, now, say the April Fool's joke, I'll say, um, I don't know, the PS3 one word review, because it was so bad that it was good. You know, it was one of my earlier videos, it was quite bad, but it was good. It was bad in a good way. 
Uh, do, 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 do. I'm sure there's more. Probably part one of my uh, PlayStation 2 games collection. It was like the first time I appeared on camera. And um, I had I had my, my camera balanced on a box of roses. And I was sitting in this bloody chair at my, my grandparents' house. And it just looked really, really weird. I looked really bloody like, awkward on camera. I was just really you know, nervous on camera, you know, because it was my first time on camera, you know, so it just felt really weird talking to a camera, now it's, you know, it's alright now, <laughs> you know, but, um, yeah, I'd probably say those are my three, uh, top three videos, I would say, the ones that I just mentioned, the April Fool's joke, the PS3 game, one word review, and also the, the first time I ever appeared on camera, the, the PS2 games collection, part one. So yeah, I'll say that's my, probably my top three videos. Uh, the last question is Neymar or Bale? Hmm, that's quite a good one. Um, probably Bale. If I'm being honest, overall, again, like I say, I've not really watched. It's the same with the Ronaldo and Messi and like stuff like that. I've not really watched, or I don't really watch that many like Spanish football games. You know, in uh, the La Liga. But from what I've seen, I'm, I'm probably going to say Bale. Bale's you know, he's a beast, you know, I mean, Neymar's brilliant as well, you know, but um, out of them, I'd probably say, from what I've seen, I'm probably going to say Gareth Bale, uh, to be honest, but they're both really good, you know, great players, and uh, I would have any of them, you know, either one of them in my team, you know, just absolutely fantastic players, but uh, I'm going to go Bale. And this last one, which is the bonus question, oh, it's a challenge. Can you do the cinnamon challenge? Or the other option is the salt and ice challenge. Oh god, I don't actually have any um, cinnamon in my house, to be honest. And the salt and ice challenge. What? I'm trying to think what the salt and ice challenge is. I've heard of it, but I'm not sure what it requires. Salt and ice challenge. Oh god, here we go. Oh god, that sounds painful. Anyway, let's see, I'll read what it says. The salt and ice challenge is a YouTube phenomenon wherein participants pour salt on their bodies, usually on the arm, and ice is then placed on the salt. This causes a burning sensation, and participants are to withstand the pain for the longest time. The challenge is recorded and posted on YouTube or other forms of social media. When I first heard salt and ice, I thought it was going to be bloody drinking salt and ice. <laughs> I was going to say that's going to be bloody annoying. It's going to bloody tingle my teeth. But, um, oh god, that sounds quite painful, to be honest. I might do that as a separate video at some point. But I'm not including it in the Q&A, but I think I might do that as a another video. You know? And not the, I, wouldn't, I don't know about the, the cinnamon challenge, but I think I'd rather do the bloody, the painful one. <laughs> I think I'd rather do the, the ice and the salt and ice challenge rather than the cinema. So I'll probably do that as a separate video. I'll, um, I'll watch a few YouTube videos, see how it's done, and then I'll probably upload it as a, a separate video in the next couple of weeks or so. I'll try and do it before Christmas, you know, if I do it, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, thank you for the, the questions, really, really appreciate it. And like I say, I might do your challenge as a, a separate video. So um, let's see. Uh, thanks for answering my questions, and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yeah, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you as well, mate. And, uh, yeah, you're very welcome. I love answering these questions. Really, really good stuff. So, anyway, guys, yeah, that is it for the, the Q&A. I hope you've enjoyed this, guys, as much as I've enjoyed answering your questions. My mouth's going bloody dry, though. I need to uh, get a drink and stuff. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much, guys. I'll I'll get these uh, get this edited and uploaded, and I'll try and do one for, um, maybe do one in February or something, maybe. Late January, early February of uh, 2015. Uh, yeah, guys, anyway, hope you've enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, appreciate all your questions, guys. And I'll catch you all in the next video. See you, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, apologies if, if I've missed, you know, anyone's questions, guys, you know. And uh, I shouldn't have done. But you know what YouTube's like, it's comment system. You never know. But anyways, thanks for watching. Take care.